Street racing is becoming more of a problem in the San Fernando Valley. Valley View News' Andrea Peña Reyes tells us more about it. Chaotic street racing is taking over the city of Los Angeles. This dangerous hobby puts spectators and residents in the area at risk. In some cases, it's even resulted in tragic car accidents. A street racing fan who wishes to remain anonymous says some racers are unaware of the danger. That also applies with the adrenaline that you feel while you're doing it. The emotions, the adrenaline, all that while you're uh, in the car, it, it's a whole different feeling. It kind of like makes you feel free. In 2017, the LAPD installed rumble strips to stop illegal street racing on the streets known as hot spots like Palmer Street and Ownsmouth Avenue in Shaftworth. Industrials, why in solitary strips like this one are the target for street racing? And this rumble strip reduces the speed of the car, making it vibrate. Lily Trujillo. Yes, I've seen it getting worse. Sunday Street Racing kills a non-profit organization after her daughter Valentina was killed in a car crash. The young man who was giving her a ride home was a street racing. Now Trujillo creates awareness regarding the dangers of illegal street racing. There's no traffic safety education anymore at schools, so the problem starts from since they're I mean since they're young. Social media is a big part of the influence of street racing nowadays. Car takeovers are becoming a trend in the internet. On TikTok, the hashtags street racing and car takeovers have thousands of views. There should be more restrictions with social media, like Instagram should not allow any that to be allowed. And that you it will be a big help right there. Trujillo says more venues, tracks, and traffic safety education are needed to stop illegal street racing. In Arlita, for Valley News, I'm Andrea Peña Reyes.